With the release of version 15 of Tower and PLS Pole, the View Cut feature has been augmented to include some new features for cutting the view based on a selected panel or plane, or a connection point in Tower and PLS Pole. We have also made it possible to de-emphasize the members being cut from the view rather than just removing them. These new features can be used to create views that can be used in the structured drafting features, which is the topic of a separate video. Let's look at the body and leg extension tower example included with the install of the tower program. First, let's do a traditional cut of the view by selecting the scissor icon in the 3D Tools toolbar and just selecting an area of the tower to cut by drawing a rectangle. You can get the model back in its original view by selecting the Uncut button from the toolbar. One of the new features with the view cut is you can now just select individual members to be removed from the view. First, I will zoom in on an area of the tower and then select the cut feature from the toolbar. But before I select any members to remove from the view, there are options in the status bar that say I can choose how members in the selected rectangle will be cut, or I can hit the S key and select individual members to cut from the view. This way I can select the members I wish to remove from the view by clicking on them individually. To get them back in the view, I just need to hit the Uncut button and they will appear back. The next option to perform a cut is to use the new panel cut. It will allow you to select a panel or plane of the structure and cut just to this panel. This will also orient the view such that it is perpendicular to the panel so you can create detail cuts for your drafting sheets for the panels. You need to go to View, Display Options, Panel Cut, and then select three points on the panel you are wishing to see in the view. Then you will just see this panel oriented perpendicular to the view. In this case, I will select the horizontal plane at the waist of the tower. You can simply hit Uncut to get the original view back again. The other new option is the connection cut, which will cut the view to only the members emanating from a selected connection joint on the tower. Let's say we wish to see the members that are emanating from one of the joints at the waist of the tower. You can simply go to View, Display Options, Connection Cut, and then select the joint you wish to see the members connecting to. This can be useful when inspecting how the members in a joint are coming together. To get the original view back, just hit the Uncut button again. All of these cut features can also take advantage of the new Ghost Mode feature by having all the cut members displayed in a de-emphasized texture by going to View, Display Option, Ghost Mode to enable the feature. Then you can do the same cut procedures as before, but the cut members will appear in a de-emphasized texture. For example, let's start with the connection cut. You will see how the members that have been cut appear in the de-emphasized texture. The same can be done with the other cut commands, such as the panel cut as well. Using the ghost mode can help a designer further visualize the geometry of a structure and can be useful when creating emphasized views in the sheets view. If you would like to learn more information about our software, you can see our website at www.palwine.com. If you would like some information about our software, you can contact us directly at info at .com. And finally, if you would like to purchase our software, you can contact our sales team directly at sales at We look forward to hearing from you soon.